Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your support. Thank you to everybody that has donated and thank you to all of the clients that have purchased a private reading from me. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy 2017. Uh, I, I want to thank you also for bearing with me while I've been trying to get the January monthlies out and also the 2017 yearly tarot forecast. Unfortunately, I had to miss a couple of the weekly forecast uh, in order to get those readings out. Um, I just want to wish you all uh, a happy 2017. And again, thank you for your support. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for your patience. And um, if you are looking for additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to Facebook and also Instagram. So if you're looking for extra guidance, please head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me there. And of course, if you are interested in a private reading, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 9th through the 15th. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising signs. Interesting, Scorpio. All right, at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, I have the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles financially, it looks like it's going to be a wonderful week for you. The Nine of Pentacles does represent that financial success, that abundance. Uh, this is you living comfortably or having more than enough money this week. You actually might have a little extra. You might be able to splurge on yourself this week, Scorpio. Uh, let's see here. You do have a very, very interesting spread here. Now, the overall energy, Scorpio, for the week is the tower. So for some Scorpios, you're finding something out. I'm definitely feeling that. For some of you, this is some sort of awakening or some sort of realization that's coming to you. So for some of you, you could be having like some sort of a sudden sort of epiphany, realizing something uh, this week. Now we have the moon and the sun here, one right on top of the other. So uh, when I have the sun and the moon in the same spread, something that was hidden with the moon here is now being revealed. Something is, is, is coming out into the open. Something is being revealed. Um, the sun is such a, a positive, powerful energy. Uh, it's going to shine its light upon all areas. Uh, and for some of you, if something was hidden or something was in the dark, if there was some sort of uncertainty or unknown aspect around something, this, this energy of the sun here is going to come in. It's going to shine its light upon that. So something could be uh, being revealed for some of you, and that's why we have the tower here as the overall energy, because this can be for, yes, uh, for some of you, this can be shocking. This could be you realizing something quite suddenly. Um, so for some Scorpio, something that was hidden is coming to light. Now, that's not always negative uh, by any means, because for some of you, maybe with something that is, is now being revealed or something is is now coming to light, it's maybe allowing for you to move forward because we do have the fool here. So the fool represents you walking out on, on a new path. It does require some sort of risk or you taking some sort of leap of faith, Scorpio, but for many of you, this is you walking out on a new path. Let me just see what I'm getting here. Now, the tower also represents uh, something big. So for some of you, this is something big. Uh, this is a major life change for some of you. So for some of you, you could be moving to a new home uh, with the tower. The tower can represent a building 
or a structure and I definitely feel like for some of you you're actually moving to a new home uh, we have the towers the overall energy and then I do have the four of swords here I have the four of pentacles here and the fours and fours excuse me fours represent your foundation so I think that for some of you um, a home is very significant maybe you've been trying to move to a new home so this could be you finding out something about a particular property uh, for some of you, you've been maybe waiting to be able to move to a new home because with the Four of Swords and then the Moon, for some of you, it's almost like you've been waiting, nothing's been happening. There's been a lot of um, uncertainty around a particular situation. Uh, something's been maybe up in the air. So I think that for some of you, you've been waiting on maybe information or waiting to be able to move to a new home. Uh, but I definitely see many of you maybe receiving that information or even maybe receiving that decision that allows for you to be able to move to a new home or allows for you to walk down this new path. For some of you, this is, this is something big here. Um, and you very much need to listen to your intuition. With the moon here, you need to listen to your intuition. And for some of you with the Four of Swords here, you need to maybe spend some time alone to figure things out. You need to spend some time alone to go within. I'm just seeing what I'm getting here. Now, there could be, there could be a Pisces, there could be a Cancer. That is quite significant this week. With the Sun, there could be a Leo person that's quite significant this week but then I also have the Emperor and I have the lovers card here so there could be a Gemini there could be an Aries or even a Taurus that is quite significant this week and with the nine of wands here for some of you you've been waiting on this this great change this is something major you've been waiting with the nine of wands for some of you you're tired you're exhausted with having to wait but you're still you're still holding out with the nine of wands and the four of pentacles here you're still holding out you're you're standing firm with what it is that you want you're really persevering you're not giving up uh, so there's something i feel that for many of you that you want You've been holding out for something in particular. Now, for some of you, this is gonna be on the relationship front. With the lover's card here, for some of you, you might have been waiting on a decision from your partner or waiting on a decision, maybe in regards to a situation dealing with three people. For some of you, you could have been in a relationship, but maybe you met someone else. This could be like a, something that's being hidden or something that's being kept secret. But with the tower as the overall energy and again with the moon and the sun here together uh, maybe you're finding something out about maybe that person or you're just having some sort of um, realization this week now the lovers card also represents a choice or a decision so for some of you maybe you're waiting on a decision in regards to a property or waiting on a decision in regards to being able to walk down some sort of new path. This is what you're holding out for. Now with the Emperor here, this could be a decision from your boss. So this could very well be career related for some of you. The Emperor can be your boss or even uh, someone who has some sort of authority or power over you. So for some of you, uh, you could be waiting on that that promotion you could be waiting on maybe a higher paying position or maybe uh, you're trying to be the boss uh, Scorpio so for some of you you're waiting on that decision maybe from the company that you work for but with the overall energy being the tower for those of you who have been waiting and for those of you who have been holding out and really waiting nothing's been happening this is the energy shifting this is the energy shifting for many of you even if maybe something is just coming to light, even if something is just being revealed this week um, that is maybe allowing for you to, you know, take those baby steps out onto that new path. So for some of you, I feel like uh, there is progress. There is some sort of progress that's being made this week. And for some of you, it's just maybe you finding something out. 
And for many of you, this is very positive. With the sun here, uh, this is a healing energy. This is a very, very positive energy. It represents success and content, happiness. And for many of you, um, I think that you've been waiting on, on the success. You've been waiting on... this news or this information or this clarity to come through. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting here. Now for those single uh, Scorpios, if you are single and you don't have anybody in your life with the tower is the overall energy uh, for some of you and also the lovers card here you could be meeting someone you could be meeting someone this week it could be a bit of a surprise um, but with the moon here um, don't allow maybe fears or doubts or worries interfere with maybe um, you actually getting to know this person on a deeper level or taking some sort of chance and maybe going on a date with this person or something like that. For some of you who are single, um, perhaps you meet someone this week, but maybe fears are holding you back. Um, for some of you, you could have been single for a very long time because of maybe past experiences. The moon can bring in a lot of fear-based energies and a lot of doubt and a lot of worry. Um, but I do see many of you overcoming that. If you were a Scorpio, and maybe in regards to this situation, this great change, this new beginning that you're trying to manifest, um, the sun and the four of swords, this is a healing energy. So for those of you who have been worrying a lot, I see a lot of healing energy that's coming in for you. Um, but I think that for some of you, For some of you, I think that you're waiting on a particular decision that allows for you to walk down this new path. Now, for some of you, this is definitely career related. And then for others, this has to do with a home. And then for a small number of you, this could be you waiting on your spouse or waiting on a particular person to make a decision. Overall, I do not see it being a bad week with the sun. Uh, for many of you, you're shining bright. Uh, you're also going to be incredibly intuitive. For some of you, if you're single and you've been single for a little while now, you could be meeting someone that literally rocks your world. Um, but don't let fears get the best of you. Again, maybe you're meeting uh, a Cancer or a Pisces for others. This could be a Leo, Gemini, Aries, or even Taurus individual. But let me pull you an additional guidance card for the week, Scorpio. Very interesting spread. Uh, for those Scorpios who are in a relationship and everything is going well, um, with the Lover's card here and the Sun, it actually could be a wonderful week for you. Now, I did just have two cards, very interesting, that flipped out together. So the first one is Adriana. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So for some of you, that's why we have the moon here. Uh, because you're definitely going to be receiving messages. Pay attention to your dreams. Also, listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to be incredibly strong this week. And then we do have Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. So again, there's some sort of enlightenment or clarity that is needed here. So for those of you that are waiting to be able to move to a new home or you're waiting to maybe move up within the company that you work for, you're waiting to be able to walk down this new path. Uh, for some of you, maybe there's more, there's more research that needs to be done or you need to take a second look at this at this um, maybe situation before moving forward with it. So maybe with this Four of Swords energy, you do need to spend some time alone and just go over the details or go over this situation because there could be something that you're missing. Missing Oftentimes when Bridget comes up, it's, it's something that you're missing. And honestly, with the Tower and this energy here, for some of you, you could be finding something out. Uh, so definitely be patient this week. Um, 
maybe wait until there's more clarity to move forward with something. Okay, Scorpio, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful, and I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.